we are going to see how we are going to care about the soil. See, when we need to take care of ourselves, we need to know which is important, which is not important, and what are the reasons that upset us or our system. So, just like that, we need to learn about the soil. And let's move on. What is soil? Soil is the topmost part, layer of the earth's crust. Okay? Top layer of the earth's crust. Now, this is the soil profile. There are different layers in the soil and this is the profile and it is divided into different layers and these layers are called as horizons. Each horizon doesn't mean the horizon that we talk about usually but this means the, the different layers, for example, each horizon, if you see, would have different texture and different color. Okay, so based on the different texture and color, we split them or categorize them into the first horizon O. Now, this is the place where you have all greenery. Every green tree and bush and plant and everything grows in this layer. So, this layer of soil is filled with organic matter. Why? Because once it dies, all these things will just settle down in the top layer of the soil. So, it is filled with organic matter. Leaves. Dead leaves. Everything is, will fill this layer O. Oh. The next horizon A is actually called the top soil. This is rich in minerals. Because it's rich in minerals, this is the place if you see, it all roots down. Okay, so all the plants and the trees and everything will send out its roots and these roots will find its place in this layer A. Then moving on to the horizon B. This is called the subsoil, which is mostly made of iron and clay. Not very friendly for the plants. Maybe the trees would just go down deep rooted. But generally plants do not find any place in this horizon. Then we move on to horizon C and then the bedrocks, which have the parent rock, the smaller bits in C and then you have the huge rocks and in the last area. Okay, so this is about the soil layers. Next we move on to soil erosion. What is the soil erosion? Basically what happens is the top layer of the soil, that's the horizon O, that is removed due to natural or man-made activities that results in soil erosion. So the removal of the top layer or removal of Horizon O. Okay, this can happen in two ways. One is man made activities, and the other one is natural. Now let's move on to the man made activities which are the, let us just look into some of the manual activities. The first to say is, see sometimes they add a lot of fertilizers and pesticides. This reduces the quality of the soil. See for example, when you take farmers from California where strawberries are richly found in abundance, what they do is they will fumigate the soil with a chemical called methyl bromide. Now what happens, why they do that is because the young strawberry plants and the fruit will stay safe without infested, infested by this pests and other things if they are spraying this when it is fumigated with methyl bromide. Now what happens, because over a period of time, when they keep on adding it, the 
strength of the soil goes down the quality of the soil goes down so because of that slowly it just is eroded so the quality goes down and the top layer along with all these fertilizers get washed off okay then the second reason why it is like this is deforestation this we know due to industries expansion housing expansion of cities all these lead to deforestation and when the forests are removed automatically when there is a rain or any other activity immediately the soil will be eroded okay the next activity that we have is overuse of land this is for building purposes this also results finally in soil erosion because when we start filling up for example in bangalore there were so many lakes now everything is filled up and we have buildings in that place so like that when we do we miss out on the soil and soil gets eroded wrong agricultural practices earlier what they would do they used to have crop rotation and they used to leave the land um, fallow for some time and uh, automatically it will gain its quality it will maintain its quality now because of the demand that we have the demand is high demand for food is high because of that everyone is in a hurry to make the maximum yield at the shortest time and that results in wrong agricultural practices that again erodes the soil then we have something called overgrazing this sometimes again it's because of the demand the population increase and the demand for cattle is more livestock is more so the livestock is taken to places where even sometimes a grass is just beginning to grow and those layers are just infested or just eaten up by these uh, cattle sometimes too many th- cattle go and feed on it and uh, they even they say that they even feed on the roots up to the roots they take away everything so they they leave nothing to be grown or to come back again so then the last one is mining activities so all the these are the reasons these are the man made activities that result in soil erosion now we'll move on to the natural reasons see there was a huge deep um, pit near a house last two weeks back when there was heavy shower what happened all the soil that was on the top just came and this this just washed off and it filled the pit okay so natural erosion can happen by torrential rains this is this is something that we watch every day okay yeah whenever there is rain not every day whenever there is rain we have this so torrential rain or floods can always result in soil erosion it will just wash wash it away okay the same thing happens with wave erosion this happens near sea shores then it's called wave erosion then there is something called gully erosion okay when it is slopy in the mountain slopes it just water just gushes through and it forms a stream like thing like gullies so that is gully erosion that again happens because of natural rains or floods this wave erosion is also called as shoreline erosion okay then you have bank erosion this is the river banks usually sometimes the river will change its course like it's called meandering of rivers and at that time the soil is also completely washed off along with that 
So that's called as bank erosion. Then you have wind erosion. Sometimes we can see a gust of wind coming and we can just see that a heap of soil has been completely moved from one place to the other and that is called as wind erosion. Okay, So these are the different forms of erosion that can happen in the natural way. Having done the causes of soil erosion, now we move on to the effects of soil erosion. And this again is of two types. Okay. The first one is the direct effects and the second one is indirect. So these are the two types of effects of soil erosion. The direct effect of soil erosion is the soil becomes infertile. So when there is no strength, there is no fertility in the soil, what happens to the quality of the crop? That goes down. So quality of crops decrease. Okay. Now when the crops quality decreases because of soil, then what happens? The cost of crop production also increases. Okay. So every time the farmer has to look into good soil, sometimes they have to replace or sometimes they have to add on some uh, fertile soil. So all that adds on to the cost. Okay. Sometimes the soil becomes so bad that it only results in wastelands. So these are the three direct effects of soil erosion. Now we move on to the indirect effects. The first and the foremost okay, is silting. It's called as siltation or silting. All this fine soil goes and gets deposited elsewhere and because of this silting what happens is it affects the hydroelectric generation of yeah plants are affected then it also affects the navigability of waterways see there are many places where through the river so many things are transported and if it is silted then the water becomes shallow and then it's not navigable okay so these are the indirect effects of soil erosion these are the direct effects of soil erosion